Uh, Korea's finance minister nominee Che Kyung Hwan has promised all out efforts to boost domestic demand to lead the economy out of its low growth trap. In particular, the nominee says he wants to make it easier for home buyers to get mortgage loans from banks. Jim Young Gil reports. Finance Minister nominee Che Kyung-wan says his initial focus will be removing red tape and other restrictions that make it difficult for consumers to buy a home. In his parliamentary confirmation hearing Tuesday, Che said one area he will attend to urgently is easing what he called outdated restrictions on housing loans. Debt to income and loan to value rules that have limited purchases have been in place for more than a decade, and there have been reasonable efforts to improve the system. We will come up with more reasonable measures. Che, who will also be a deputy prime minister if he is confirmed, said the government is requiring banks to excessively limit housing loans, as it has failed to change regulations written more than 10 years ago when there were worries about property market bubbles. Adopted during the housing market boom, the rules strictly restrict the size of a home loan that can be given to home buyers. But the nominee did not say how he would bring the nation's rapidly growing household debt problem under control. Critics say it will only get worse if loan restrictions are eased. Chess said the need to boost domestic demand has become more urgent as the April ferry disaster prompted many consumers to refrain from leisure activities, thereby slowing the recovery. The economic team will place its focus on boosting domestic demand through increasing household income and improving consumer sentiment. The nominee also said he was opposed to tax hikes aimed at making up for a revenue shortfall, adding that revenue should be raised by boosting economic activities, not by raising taxes. Chess said when it comes to extra budget, he said the government would take a comprehensive approach looking into the economic conditions and that the government is in the middle of crafting a budget plan for next year. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.